Welcome back to JFM Wrestling. As we always say here on the channel, we cover all wrestling, from professional like WWE to college like NCAA, and today we're going to be covering the latter. In the realm of college athletics, there are different conferences and different divisions. For example, there's Division Three wrestling at places like Augsburg College in Minneapolis, and they'll have their own conferences and championships, but the competition might not be as good as Division I and their conferences and champions. The subject matter for today is D1, and the specific conference we're going to be looking at is the Big Ten. As a little background, last summer it was announced that the Big Ten was going to grow in membership with the universities of Oregon and Washington joining. Recently prior to them joining USC and UCLA were also admitted. The total as it stands now are 18 universities not mentioning any affiliate schools like Johns Hopkins nor taking into account any future expansion. Of course, just because a university is in the Big Ten, it does not necessarily mean that they have all the same sports offered. For example, it was stated that having sports like wrestling as being offered were not deal breakers for inviting these new universities. So with that in mind, we are going to look ahead to next year, the 2024 and 2025 season to look at who will make up the Big Ten Wrestling Conference. Wrestling is a sport that has grown in popularity, but is still maybe not as big as others. As it seems nowadays, kids start specializing in their preferred sports earlier and earlier. Wrestling in general seems more popular in the Midwest than in other areas of the country. Again, that does not mean that you won't find wrestling in Florida or California. But you are way more likely to find a town with a population of 1,500 people in Iowa with a wrestling program than you are in the aforementioned states. That popularity really causes lots of eyeballs to be put on the Big Ten, a predominantly Midwestern conference. Let's take a look at the universities who have had membership in the Big Ten and see where they are in terms of wrestling before we take a look at the four new West Coast teams. Currently, as of today, there are 14 programs, Illinois, Northwestern, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Nebraska, Penn State, Indiana, Rutgers, Purdue, Ohio State, Maryland, Michigan, and Michigan State. The very first year of Big Ten wrestling as we might know it started with Illinois and Minnesota in 1913. The team that has the most team championships in the Big Ten is Iowa with 37. Also coincidentally, they have the most individual champions in Big Ten history with 210. There are of course very legendary coaches that have come through the Big Ten, first and foremost being Dan Gable who is responsible for coaching the Hawkeyes to 21 team titles. Second is Cliff Keen of Michigan with nine and whose name you might recognize on tons of clothes and gear. The most individual champions in the Big Ten are four and that record is shared by 17 wrestlers with Vern Gagne being the first to do it for the University of Minnesota. The last teams to join the current iteration of the conference was in 2014 when Ruggers and Maryland joined. And now that we've covered a little bit of the rich history of the current Big Ten wrestling teams, let's look at what the future might hold. Of the four schools that are leaving the PAC conference and joining the conference, none currently offer a wrestling team. In the past, Washington and Oregon did have programs, but due to budget cuts, Washington cut its program in 1980 and Oregon in 2007. UCLA did have an NCAA D1 program as well, but their program was again cut for budgetary reasons in 1981. USC and UCLA currently have NCWA National Collegiate Wrestling Association level clubs and are loosely considered D2. Oregon and Washington also share the NCWA distinction with the California schools. I've seen it stated that in order to get a D1 wrestling program off the ground, it would take approximately $20 million a year to fund. For schools like USC and UCLA, $20 million should be no problem, but that is still money that would be taken away from other sports and facilities maintenance. I would be remiss if I didn't mention wrestling isn't only for the guys as one school has now set up a women's wrestling program. If you guessed it was Iowa and their rich wrestling history, you would be correct. Currently, that is it for the Big Ten women's wrestlers, but that will be interesting to keep an eye out for in the future. 
That said, I go back to the $20 million funding issue for women's teams. But, I would love to see a healthy and flourishing women's Big Ten conference. In conclusion, what new teams will be in the Big Ten in league year 2024? Sadly none, just the four team we have now. The future could definitely change things though, and if any of these four schools want to compete with already established programs, they're going to have to go all in. That will do it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe as we are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers and also drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.